a beer from a modern brewery that's next to the tallest windmill in Amsterdam. It's beer o'clock from Brauerit I. In Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, we have a bottle of their eyewit coming in at 6.5% ABV. Now, let's talk about this Brary I, the history. Now, there was a musician called Casper Peterson. Um, had a few hits in the 70s, and a band in the 70s. And he decided that... Um, he wanted to, after he, he packed up his band, he wanted to do something different, and he, he decided to brew beer. Um, and he didn't know what to call the brewery. And there's two main rivers in uh, Amsterdam that run through Amsterdam. You've got the Amstel, which obviously the brewery's named after that. And you've got the River I. And he decided to name his brewery, call it um, Brary, Brary I. After, after the river. So, it's been influenced by sort of Belgium style beers um, when when travelling um, with his band. Um, it was, the band was called Door Macar, if anyone wants to look it up. Um, and yeah, he fell in love with the Belgium style beers. So hence, a lot of his beers are sort of um, Belgium style influenced that they brew. Um, he got, he actually passed it over after 20, uh, 20 years having this brewery, he actually, he actually took a back seat and um, passed it off to a couple of fellas called uh, Bart Obertop and Patrick Hendricks um, who took over and have, been, have, have kept it exactly the same. Um, in 2015, um, they entered a partnership with the famous Duval Mortgat Brewery. So that's a little bit about the brewery. And that's, so that's, uh, let's crack open this beer, eh? Um, Cause that's, that's really what you've all um, been waiting for is to uh, <laughs> see the review of this beer. So let's get it into a glass. Because it's a whip bit. There's probably some. So there we are. It's the goodness. We drop the lovely goodness in. Which helps cloud it up a little bit. Right then. First impressions. It's a beautiful, cloudy, um, straw golden colour with a lovely three finger, tight white frothy foam head. Let's get the aromas. Ah, oh, smells so fresh this beer. You can really smell lemon and coriander in this. It's lemon, banana, Coriander. Oh, it really, really smells fresh, zingy. This this beer is a beer that smells of summer. It really, really does, and it's a lovely day today in in the UK in September. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a cracker to to to, to drink now. So without further ado, let's give it a try. Eh? Cheers. Oh my word. Is this the best wit beer? Belgium wit beer. I'm gonna say that. Not 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 don't don't get, get this confused with wheat beers from Germany. Is this the best Belgium style wit beer that I've ever had? And that's just after the first sip I'm making a bold statement. Because I think it is. It 
it's just so fresh tasting. Fresh bananas, fresh citrus, the coriander, the soft carbonation. This is this is a beauty of a beer, this is. This beer is dangerously Moorish, I can tell you that now. This is the sort of beer that like, you want to be out, out in the Netherlands on a hot day, sitting at a cafe on a square, drinking this, watching the world go by. It, you know, sometimes a beer, it looks great, even without tasting it. And look, look how great that beer looks. Look how nice that beer looks. Look at that, that tight foam head. It's like, it's like, it's like pillows, isn't it? The, the foam on this, is, it looks like a big, soft, inviting pillow. Just, it's remarkable. I like this sweet, the sweetness at the back end. It doesn't feel like you're drinking 6.5% beer either. Um, this actually feels like a free, like it's 3% this beer. This is seriously dangerously drinkable, dangerously Moorish. This is a beer that you could quite easily um, sit there and knock back 10 bottles of this, no problem. <laughs> and, and um, oh, this is this is a gem. The sip, you're just getting this banana, citrus, coriander, this soft feel in the mouth and then it's just this beautiful beautiful sweet aftertaste you know, I'm halfway through this and you know, I'm gonna it, it, like I said after one sip this is the best Belgium style wit beer I've ever had It's incredible. This is just an incredible beer. It's a shame, the first time I've actually had this beer, I'm having to review it, because I keep sitting here, not wanting to say nothing. I just want to sit back, relax, and enjoy it. And but I can't, so I've got to review it. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna watch me sit, sitting laid back like this, just enjoying the beer, are you? <laughs> you know, it's that good. This is a. I really, really, really great beer. This is why I love reviewing beer. When you open up a bottle of beer for the first time, on camera as well, and it just blows your mind. You know, I have never had this beer before. I've never had this in in a um, in a bar in in the Netherlands. And it's just blown my mind opening this up today. Absolutely fantastic beer. Look. Jump through flaming hoops to get yourself a bottle of this beer. Um, you've got to seriously try this beer before you die. This is a beer to try before you die. This is brewed with love. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, the best Belgium style wit beer I've ever had. Um, obviously it's brewed in the Netherlands, but obviously I'm, I keep saying Belgium style wit beer because obviously um, 
Casper and the brewery got their influences from the Bel from the, the Belgian beers. So look, get hold of a bottle of this, try it, see what you think. Now I do re I do seem to remember that Brewery I have a web shop and I think they ship to England. So go and have a look on the on their website, um Brewery I and see if you can get some. And some of their other beers, because I reviewed one last week. Absolutely fantastic. These beers are fantastic. Um, brilliant. So look, get hold of a bottle. Try it, see what you think. Let me know. Leave a comment below, right? Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.